three comments came from Pakistan today which surprised everyone. The first comment was that of uh, uh, the Pakistan army chief who said we'll respond within minutes to India when there was no official provocative remark coming out from India. So the second was this comment from the Taliban's Baitullah Masood who went on to say we will fight along with the Pakistan army and make this a bigger confrontation when we actually believe so far they were fighting the Pakistan army. That was the second most surprising comment. The third most surprising comment which I'm just going to play around for you right now is the comment from the Interior Minister of Pakistan who denied the presence of anyone called Kasaf in any part of Pakistan. This is an absolute contradiction of Dawaz Sharif himself. Here what the minister said. देखिए जी एक तो मैं कह रहा हूं हमें कोई किसी किस्म की ऑफिशियल और अनऑफिशियल किसी किस्म की एविडेंस अभी तक प्रोवाइड नहीं की गई जहां तक अजमल कसाब का तल्लक है जब हमने मीडिया में पढ़ा तो मैंने नादरा के रिकॉर्ड से चेक करवाया उसका नाम के कोई शिनाख्ती कार्ड या वहां पे कोई डिटेल दर्ज नहीं है हां ये खत जो है जो जो कि रिपोर्टेडली उसने लिखा है वो हमारी एंबेसी जो है इंडिया में उनको मासूर हुआ था उन्होंने काला में भेजा है नाउ लेट मी गो अक्रॉस टू हामिद मीर ऑफ जियो टीवी हामिद मीर एज पियरिंग नंबर ऑफ न्यूज रिपोर्ट्स दे हामिद योर ओन टीवी स्टेशन एक्चुअली पुट आउट द रिपोर्ट ऑन कासफ नाउ द सिचुएशन वुड यू अग्री इज दैट ऑफ टोटल डिनायल नाउ इट्स अ सिचुएशन ऑफ टोटल डिनायल इन पाकिस्तान डिनाय एवरीथिंग डिनाय एवरीथिंग एंड स्टेयर इंडिया बैक वुड यू अग्री no 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 i think uh, try to understand what uh, interior minister rahman malik said he said that india have not provided us any evidence and he is saying that they have not uh, they, they are not able to get information uh, uh, about his uh, identity card from the nadra which is a national database organization in pakistan so i think that if they have taken action against jamaat ud dawa if they have put hafiz mohammad saeed under house arrest it is uh, a proof that uh, they know that uh, jamaat ud dawa or lashkar e taiba people they are involved in some kind of uh, anti pakistan uh, activity so i think that what he is trying to say that india should provide some more evidence to pakistan okay all right mr amir uh, many here in uh, new delhi would say those are delaying tactics that statement coming in from rahman malik but there's another statement that we've been speaking about that of the army chief where he said that we'll react within minutes now many here in new delhi in india are saying that these this actually shows the insincerity of pakistan vis-a-vis -vis the mumbai terror investigations that pakistan is really not interested in handling the investigations and they're trying to deflect attention i am a pakistani and i think i represent uh, uh, the opinion of uh, millions of pakistanis and we want that pakistan should help india in investigating the mumbai attacks and uh, if you have uh, got this impression from the statement of army chief uh, i cannot uh, uh, comment on that but i think that it is in the interest of pakistan to help india in investigating the mumbai attacks whatever army chief is saying he is representing the opinion of uh, the civilian government and maybe they are responding to the statement uh, of uh, mr parnab mukherjee who said that india have all the options open yeah, so this is also a threatening yeah, statement but 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 hamid mir you know that can be read differently kc singh won't you agree when you say you have all the options open you have all the options open uh, every second of every day 365 days a year so that's does that really mean anything does that warrant the kind of response that one has seen from uh, from general kiani and do you think kc singh that this is an attempt by pakistan directly or indirectly to make this a bigger flashpoint take the attention away from the fight on terror and make it something else i can uh, speak only for myself I think, and i can speak for the civil broke it up into of bits. pakistan uh, there is pakistan is trying to take it in the direction of a process rather than the substance uh let's have a joint investigation let's see what can be done rather than addressing the substance the real problem i think where general kiani has come in he has got himself into a political exchange where indian government kept in fact on this side also i would say that we kept on saying sometimes options on the table sometimes they are off the table today prime minister said no war is not an option i think we have also been flip flopping options are always on the table with a country like india when your interests are involved you say it once and you leave it at that defense minister said something else naval uh, chief of navy tried interpreting defense minister statement and so on so forth i think yeah. we also haven't had a fix on it that's true but the fact remains that the first time options were put on the table that is when condoleezza rice came 
she went to uh, yeah. pakistan obviously certain messages were conveyed to india that pakistan will start facing reality that, that's true. that didn't happen you found pakistan slipping back that's true. that is when again they said options are on the table and this time around when this was said you see admiral mullen in pakistan americans always send either the centcom chief or their chief of staff to deal with the pakistani military i think they've recognized that the problem is with the military problem is not with the civilian government the civilian government is not in control absolutely this particular thing